Reviews, back with yet again another fun-filled, overjoyed episode of As the Beer not a Swirls. Not a gray cloud in the sky. Not a gray All mirth-filled. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I am Dan. I am Mike. Dan, haven't seen a bottle in a while. We haven't seen a bottle. Uh, actually, this bottle, first and foremost. <sighs> okay, where do we get it? What is it? Who brewed it? Who gave it to us? Why are we drinking it? I didn't like it. It's a one. Thanks for watching, buddy. Cheers. Uh, now, this bottle comes from Tanner over at East Coast LQ Reviews. Tanner. Oh, yeah. A little squirrel. Uh, he he brought this beer to Beer Tuber Plusa 2020. And, uh, you know, we didn't drink it there, so we brought it home, and because I specifically asked for this one. He said he's going to, uh, this is from Proclamation oh, the pro Brewing. Yep, okay. Uh, so this is from mm -hmm. Proclamation Brewing, and they're out of uh, Warwick, Rhode Island. And this is in collab with the Tilted Barn Brewery. So this is an open fermented Saison Ale oh. with grilled peaches. Oh. <laughs> Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm Stewart. Sure. Um, if only Rod Stewart was lump. Uh, anyways, I'm super excited for this. So we, yeah, we don't, we don't do too many uh, farmhouse Al saisons. We, we've actually done one today. However, I feel like every time we do one, we go, hey, we don't do a lot of these. And then we just end up loving it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sort, of like, sort of like Ridge. I'm not a stout guy. Well, I'm not really a stout guy, but... Uh, well, he's drinking like 15 stouts in the week. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, grilled peaches. That's grilled peaches. peaches. Uh, what an adjunct. 6% uh, right. ABV. Uh, six, how about? 6%. Oh, dear God, I thought you said 16%. Uh, I was like, that's a hefty farm yeah. out. Jeez. Uh, naturally carbonated, unfiltered, and may contain sediment. And you just agitated the shit out of it. I did. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's rising up. There we go. He's, what's in it? What's going on? Let me twist it around a little bit. Oh, that looks like a plus. That's, that's a plus. She's got this little capper if we need it. There she comes. I can see her. She was trying to get out. I said, nay. Yeah, there's like drags. Well, look at the we'll cap it out. Check this out. Hermetically sealed. Boom. I mean, it's been blessed by a physician. Um, so that looks like a Dirk horse Mafia. blankety farmhouse ale. Hey, now there's no bubbles. I <laughs> uh, no, it, it, a it golden looks, straw color, right? like with a hint of orange. It looks in so there. bright and daring. It re Soap sauce you had. I just, yeah. I'm getting a whiff. Like a nice tank. film right there. It looks like a great farmhouse ale, so let's, uh, get, let's get a whiff. Oh. Yeah. That's got that. That's horse yeah. blood, my friend. That's got that tangy little zipper. Accouchement le cordon bleu. <laughs> wow. I, I'm getting like grilled kielbasa. I'm getting pee in diapers. <sighs> <laughs> Tanner's never given us a <laughs> I, uh, You know, I, I'll tell you what. It's, the, it's the got that kind of like acidity. There. There, there's that acidity. You get the peach? Yeah, like, and I'm getting a grilled note to it as well. Really? But there is the, the uh, acidic nature of a farmhouse ale is there. It, see, it, I'm, not, I'm not getting the peach. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this, this smells fantastic. Let me smell yours. Smell mine. Oh, yours doesn't smell anything like my beer. Wait, uh, put your beer down. Put your beer down. No, don't ruin my beer with your shit! Ah, oh, goddammit. No, this happened last time, remember? With me and you and Joe. There we go. Oh, I'm getting so many grilled peaches. But isn't that weird, though? Remember we did that review with Joe, and it was like three different levels of Cezanne, depending on what bottle. Yeah, there was, because it was like everybody, all three of us had a different beer. Like, it What was is it with these freaking Cezannes? Because all the crap oh, is in the bottle, like, down, it, yeah, there's all the sediment. Yeah. 
I'll tell you what, I still get a lot of that. I mean, you dumbed it down with your garbage beer, but... <laughs> I'll tell you what, it smells fantastic. It's a very floral, uh, fresh, fruity note to it with the tree leaves all over it. It's with that horse blanket in there, which is such an odd tasting aroma, but cheers. Tanner. Freaking Thanks, buddy. Squirrel. Thanks, bud. Mmm. Oh, wow. There's like a, I can taste the peach skin on it. It's not um, too in depth for me, the peach. It, Part of me is like, where's all the peach? No, I think it's it's much more subtle than you would think. Like, I guess coming Essence out of this, peach? you would expect a hearty peach flavor, but. Body super thin, super carbonated. Crisp, yeah. clean. It's higher side of thin. Very carbonated, very crisp. I feel crisp. like we're still having two different beers here. Still a nice, uh, nice floral taste to it. Mm. The grilled part that I was getting on the aroma, like that kielbasa, yeah. that's kind of died down. The peach is... It's there, but it's not as abundant as I thought it was going to be. I, for me, it's like the essence of peach. Yeah, there's that that mm. that base tangy, acidic, puckering farmhouse ale that you acclimate to, and then you mm -hmm. start getting that sweet, crackery, weedy lemon thing going on. Right, and then with like essence of peach, I can't tell you it's grilled or not. It's yeah, enjoyable. I don't. It's very enjoyable. It's like, like you said, it kind of as it goes along, you start to get like the, uh, the more bitter kind of rindy fruit notes, like your your lemon and your orange peel. Oh yeah, actually, now you mention, I'm, I'm getting some orange peel there. Yeah, this I enjoy is, it. This is pretty tasty, though. I I like this. It's hard to tell. Yeah, there's some sediment. There's got to be down there. Uh, there's not a lot left. I could see it coming when we were pouring it. I was like, ooh, yeah. you know. Um, I'll probably just give this to the wife when she gets home a little bit left. There, <laughs> she's going to get all the dregs. She's going to flush that she out gets, my Oh, it's so peachy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I get a nice, easy, Keith, a little hint of smokiness coming off it. Okay. Mm. It's it's good. I'm actually getting a there's a trigger warning happening with my heartburn right now. I'm not getting nearly as much as I thought I was gonna get. Okay. It, it's just a it's Is this a something point. you want to drink often? I'll tell you what, I would drink it I would buy a bottle of this if I saw it. This is good. Okay. I like it. Yeah, I, I there's something about it with that. The smoky bits in there, maybe yeah. that's the grilled aspect of the peach in there. It breaks it up a little bit, makes it slightly different from your other like farmhouse sales. Oh. I feel like you're not really enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I guess I'm a little let down. Like, where's the peach? I want more. It peach. definitely plays second fiddle to the other flavor notes. Like, like the bigger reason I, I, I Tanner's like, oh, check the website, see what the guy if anything catches your eye. I'm like, oh, this catches my eye because mm -hmm. it's different. Uh, I don't drink many, uh, you know, farmhouse ales. Right, right. Uh, but grilled peaches. I'm like, oh shit, that's an interesting flavor note right there. That that would have caught my eye as well. I would love to try the base without the peaches and see how different it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'd like to see what that does. Um. I'll give it a three eight. I'll give it a four. I get see. I can build up to a four, maybe even a four two five. Got more peaches. Yeah, yeah. I need yeah. more peaches. And the um, fact that they say grilled peaches, it's not just peaches. Right, right. Give me the grilled peaches. So maybe that's where the that touch of smoke is coming. Oh from. yeah, absolutely. I think that's where it's coming from. Um, yeah, and I think that would drive it up more. I, I enjoy this beer. I wonder if Tanner got a bottle of this for himself. I never asked him. That's a good question. I would like a little more peach out of it, though. 
Yeah. I like it for what it is, but when you're when you're billing it as a, a grilled peach farmhouse salad, yeah, peaches yeah. should probably. I feel like if that. I had to do a remix mm-hmm. of the presidency of the United States of America, it would be two peaches. Yeah, not anywhere near a million. Two peaches for me. Yeah. Still good. I, I like it. Okay. I think it's what right. they do. Uh, down below, have you had this beer? Do you like saisons? Do you like farmhouse sales? Do you like grilled peaches? Uh, ooh, grilled peach. Never even uh, no, I, considered it. I'm going to try it. Really? You, I've had it. Oh. I've had a grilled peach. Oh, yeah. I've never had a grilled peach. Oh, yeah. Gr- grilled peach. Uh, and then you uh, get like a brown sugar syrup. Put it on it. Okay. Yeah. And then you put like uh, some uh, Cool Whip or uh, like a... Like a, a lot. like a vanilla ice cream on it? Yeah, I don't want to do all that. I just want to grill the peach. Put it like a kebab. Do some pork. Like a chicken. Or something like that. That'd be odd. No. Pork? Yeah. Fruit. Fruit with oh, pork. Pineapple with pork. Sure. No, I've had applesauce with pork. Yeah. That's, that's, that's too played out. Apple and pork. It's yeah. too played out. Pork chop and like apple chop. Yeah, whatever. I fucking didn't do all your little. Fuck. I gotta have like eighteen different dollops for the grilled peach. I'm just gonna grill a peach. Please. Yeah, but you said kebab, so kebab is all about the dollops. No, it's just about putting. Yeah, why isn't it? A kebab is more than just the meat. The meat is more like an accoutrement to the rest of the stuff that goes on the kebab. I think the meat's the the main portion. The vegetables and anything else is the accoutrement. But you've got to get like 18 different sauces and other little bits that you're spraying yeah. on and whatnot. Yeah, why not? It's it's part of the fun. Yeah, you you get like little little dishes. Oh, here's a sauce. Here's this. You, you dip it. Try it. Nah, it's too much for me. Nah, mm. okay. Pork's played out, though, for real. How so? Uh, I'm not, like, I'm, uh, pork's my last option. Really? Pork's I'd rather have chicken or beef. Oh, fuck chicken. That's the one you got to freaking doll up to no end just to get to. Yeah, no, you don't. Sauce it with a wing. I'll take that. Damn. You got pineapple habanero. Mm. Oh, mango That'd habanero. With we'll grilled peach. Grilled peach. We got to grill some peach. We should should just grill some peach. <laughs> what, a, what, what are we hey, what, 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 what is that? So we're just sitting there <laughs> grilling grill grill peaches. Fruits. And then we just I eat like figuring it out. Oh, oh. grilled pineapple, grilled peaches. If peach. we get a bunch of different fruits, grill them all up, see what's what. Grilled papaya. I'm okay with it. Grilled persimmon. And then we follow it up with like a Jenny Creville. <laughs> then that makes it a farmhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But I think we should do it. But seriously though, you, you don't think that all the stuff you put on the kebab is just as important as the meat? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's- I feel like the meat's interchangeable, whether it's beef, chicken, or pork. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think, like, when you're changing from white to dark meat, like, it's it changes everything else, too. I think that's where you're, like, all your seafood. Yeah, because you're not pairing an apple with beef. I see that. But yeah. with chicken, I think it's interchangeable. The chicken's always interchangeable. That's Pork is right you there, You can do turkey. But even that, turkey's so bland and dry, you got to, like, do something with it. You like ground turkey? Yeah, but you're what would you rather have, ground chicken or ground turkey? Oof. If you're having the 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 substitution for the beef or ground pork, I think I, you could just give me either, and I wouldn't even know what was going on. They're See, both such bland. Yeah, white. but here's the thing. I, I think I think in the chili, like you could substitute yeah, a, a ground turkey in a chili. There, there pork. you go. Your meat is just the backup. In a chili, everything else is what you're tasting. Can you imagine some grilled peaches in a your, chili? Your I don't see why you can't. Like a sweet, you could do a sweet you put pineapple. You can put pineapple in chili, like grilled pineapple bits in a chili. That would probably be oh, fantastic. What? I'm just thinking about sweet heat chili now. Grilled peaches, grilled pineapple with a nice pepper of your choosing. Yeah. With Italian sausage. It's ground turkey. Pair it up with this beer to cut the heat. I think now we're on to something. We need to get another bottle of this. That proclamation ever watches this. Even if they do, they won't make it this far. <laughs> what if you just show up to Proclamation <laughs> Tap Room one day and there's like the they got pa- kebabs going? Like, hey, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. And they're pairing it up with like some chili. 
grilled peach, oh my gosh, grilled peach you habanero see, chili. You're like sitting there and you're looking up on the menu and you're like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> oh, you owe us a fortune, my oh. friend. All right, uh, Tanner. Hey, thanks for the beer. Hey, we appreciate it. This, is, this was fantastic. Yeah, down description below. Well, FLX Brews, Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> Twitter's, uh, my untapped, Mike's yeah, untapped, yeah, and uh, what do you like in your chili? What do you like in your kebabs? Oh, I go for kebab. What's the hierarchy? Beef, chicken, pork. It's gotta be beef. Beef's the hierarchy. White meat's just yeah, so but you can't pair as much up with the beef. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, but that's because it's so savory. Yeah, yeah. But white meat's so bland and gross. Like you have to pair other things up with it. What if you could you marinate the chicken in this? <sighs> that's a good question. And then you grill it to make kebabs with the grilled peach. Mm. Grilled peach, like an onion, a sweet onion. Mm hmm. Mm. It's a thing. All right, gang. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for cooking with FLX Peer Reviews. Hey, yo. Cheers.